Good morning YouTubers thought I'd do um, another small update on my Red Sea Reefer 450 and I'll show you what's in the sump today but before I do that <clears throat> I'd like to give a big shout out to a number of people that I've been subscribed to for up to a year now uh, that have given me inspiration and guidance on how to put this together and that is uh, Matt at Jio.com, Aaron's Aquarium, Rotatube Reef, and JD Reef 4220. Uh, <coughs> Apologise for the uh, lighting on the tank. I can't do this um, at night time. And I've got a lot of windows around me at the moment. So there's quite a bit of reflection on the tank. But I'll do my best. Um, <clears throat> I've had this tank now for just over 14 months and I am struggling with nitrates at the moment although they are coming down now and they are at 10 parts per million. Um, they were at 50 so I'm struggling to keep SPS in there at the minute. But what I've done now is looking down at the sump I've gone for a Zeovit reactor here, which I've had running now for about three weeks, and so far it's looking good. The nitrates have come down to 10 parts per million, which I'm happy about. I've also put in a calcium reactor, that's a Skims calcium reactor, that is a uh, Deltec Zeovit reactor. The Skims calcium reactor has been running for uh, uh, three weeks and I'm just effectively dialing that in at the moment I'm waiting for a solenoid that I can fit up there to keep the uh, pH pH at the moment is 6.5 um, looking at the apex here if we can focus in on that 6.5 top left there we go 6.5 and the tank pH is 7.97 the uh, calcium reactor should be between 6.5 6.7 I believe uh, but the solenoid will help me uh, stay with that <clears throat> uh, I've got a MP sorry I've got a vector M1 return pump there which I swapped out uh, which I bought um, about a month and a half ago and hard piped that in um, and I took off uh, a feed there to go to the Zeovit reactor so everything uh, is uh, working alright I basically pump this a bit difficult to do with one hand but I basically pump this twice a day ten times and at the moment I'm adding Zeo food, Zeo back, and we've also got Zeo start there. Um, so I'm going to continue with that. Now, I did have a refugium in this top up system. I had it for about a year, but once I started to put this new equipment in, I had to move that out. I had it down here where the skimmer is and I had to move it and I've put it back up here and I'm using it as a top up again which basically feeds down into that float valve you can see down there and it's doing a good job. Um, I didn't like it initially, it wasn't working very well which is why I used it as a refugium but now what I do is I use the top up water from in there to top up that top up tank however I think I'm going to go back to trying to get a refugium in there I'm not using the dosing pumps now so I can move those out and I think I'll put a refugium um, <clears throat> yeah I've got uh, two heaters uh, in there as well which um, One's a backup, standby heater, controlled by the Apex 
controller and everything apart from the nitrates everything is looking good um, going back up to the tank I've I had a made a mistake and had a Singapore Angel in there which destroyed all my LPS corals but last about a month ago I bought a lot more um, LPS Euphelia and I'm getting a Euphelia garden going there and a couple of Duncans one there and one there um, and they're doing well I've got one anemone there and a bubble tip anemone around here now the bubble tip anemone was the first anemone that I got and I was hoping that the clownfish would host or rather he would host the clownfish but I also bought a porcelain porcelain anemone crab which you can't quite see he's hidden there, in there somewhere and he doesn't let anybody near that if the clownfish try to go in there he has a fit and chases them off and you quite often see lumps missing out the back of their tail so that's why I bought the second anemone hoping that the clownfish would go in there but they're not interested they're, they've been used to not having one for 14 months now and they're quite happy just swimming around the tank everybody else is perfectly fine lipstick tang dory regal tang and the boss the yellow tang he uh, bosses everybody around but most of the time they get on fantastically well um, all doing healthy I do have white spot in the tank I've had it almost since day one uh, I lost one why well, I had originally had two different clownfish in there and I lost both of them um, but other than that never had any problem I'm not putting any more fish in there I've got 13 fish in there at the moment there is a hawk fish lurking around somewhere but I'm not intending to put any more fish in there so they don't get stressed they're quite happy um, they're all doing well they're all healthy quite fat and getting bigger and at the moment what I'm trying to focus on is getting the uh, SPS to grow um, as I say I'm using that uh, Zeovit reactor and I'm waiting to see what the results are but so far it looks pretty good um, and if I get time I'll uh, do another update later on thank you for watching